So do I have to cut the top off this? Um, no, they have these little things okay. on. But it's Let's like even a, the playing field since the, she wants the whole, to win. The you see it's rigged. Small. You see it's rigged. Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to The Fumble. Uh, this is Britt Johnson's show, and today it's also Frosty Rucker's show. Thank you so much for being on the show. Happy to be here. Are you excited? Of course. Okay, well, we do have a science experiment that we're going to get to a little bit later, but first I have a few questions to ask you. So, um, everybody wants to know, you were drafted in 2006. You're 34 years old. Sorry to you put your age that? out there like that. I'm a free agent. Why are you doing but, this? But, um... How much longer are we going to see you play football? How much longer do you think your body can handle playing football? Uh, I think I can do it for a few more years. Uh, yeah. I take care of my body pretty much. Are you That's on like a project. Tom Brady diet though? No. Nothing no. crazy like that? No, the big man version. A lot more protein. <laughs> <laughs> what is like your daily, like what do you eat every day? Like during season when you're, or when you're trying to get ready for season? Uh, What's I try daily? to keep it light. I, um, I'm big on veggies and stuff. I work for, um, I'm partnered with American Diabetes Association, so I want, you know, I want to push fruits and veggies. But, you know, I, I get my fix for a burger every now and then and, you know, stuff. Nice, I don't, nice. I don't, I, it's, it's not over the top too clean. Yeah. Um, I'm actually very clean. I'm a vegan. So, so it can get yeah. better. I yeah. would like to get better. We know you went to USC. Correct. Sam Darnold just announced that he's coming out this year. Correct. Where do you think he's going to get drafted, and how do you think he's going to do in the NFL? I think the kid has a, not just because I'm an alum, a proud alum, I just want to say. USC right guys are very A proud USC. alum, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know that. I think he'll do great. I think uh, the way the trend is with uh, running style quarterbacks that can get out of the pocket, make the throw, I think uh, his game will pick up, and if he's on the right coach sky's the limit okay so speaking of that where do you think he would get drafted to like i mean some of the top picks browns have one and four we have the giants up there the jets are up there broncos Arizona, we need a quarterback um <laughs> anywhere i don't know the sky's the limit for the kid i think uh he'll be a good fit i think in arizona because that's what we want we need to push the chains a little bit the tempo of the game to pick up we can run the ball we have great running backs he'll be a good fit for us Okay, so GM, you heard that? Frosty wants Sam in Arizona. I do. Okay, um, so let's talk about, because you've been kind of big in your career, I guess, talking about marijuana. Yeah. And you had, I don't know if you still have, you have a marijuana farm? I do, I do. Yes. So, let's talk about, because we've talked a lot on the fumble about it, the legalization of weed in the NFL. I think it's coming. I think uh, there's going to be a chance for a big change. Um, there's a new CBA in 2020, which you guys will start knowing, you know, the last time we had one, uh, we had a, a, a brief lockout, but hopefully, you know, those things will be discussed on both, both parties. I feel like there's the time to do it now. It doesn't have to be a drastic change, but guys want other alternatives to feel better. And it's a proven fact that cannabis does the job. So, you know, if it's ways that they can do with topicals or different aspects of the yeah. plant to help, I think they should research it. Well, do you think that it, like, players could get to a point, like, especially the young guys, and take advantage of the fact that they can smoke weed? Yeah, well, I think everyone in society, when they have an option to do it the right way or the wrong way, there's a 50-50 right there. Uh, hopefully, I think the guys will know to do it responsible. If, it's, if it actually gets changed to that, you know, use it responsible. Josh Gordon, we're talking to you, buddy. I heard you were named after Robert Frost. No, that's just it's made up. It's BS. Yeah. You oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna you test hear. your poet skills anyway. Why? Why? Do you know what a haiku is? No. So it's five syllables, seven syllables, and then five syllables. Okay. Let's hear a poem. Five syllables. Anyway. Why? Seven syllables. You oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna you test hear. your poet Why? skills anyway. Why? <laughs> the cat was in the hat. I think that's seven. I won. No. You had On to the five, next thing. I won. Seven and five. Okay, okay, so that. let's get away from English. We please, know you have a please. son, and your son will one day need help with you, help from you doing a science project. Okay. So this is actually a fourth grade level science project. Um, I had to level the playing field because you're a big guy. I'm small, so we needed something work we could do together and compete against because I like to challenge people and what people's butt. Bring it so, on. Get Bring ready. it on. I'm here. Okay, so we have vinegar in here, four ounces. Uh, one ounce each, so two ounces of baking soda. Baking and what soda. we're gonna I got baking soda. I got soda. baking soda. We got okay. baking soda. Sorry, had to. So um we are going to have to fill this with the um, baking soda. And then you have to put it on top of here without letting the baking soda get in. And then once it's sealed, you put it up top. Whoever gets their balloon to blow up first wins. 
And I haven't tried this, so I actually don't even know if it really works. But so do I have to cut the top off this? Um, no, they have these little things okay. on. But it's Let's like even a, the playing field since so she wants whole, to win. You see it's rigged. Small. You see it's rigged. Are you ready? You have your like strategy set? Yeah, I believe so. I can only use one of these balloons, correct? Well, I mean, if you mess up, you can get another balloon, but then you have to get the baking soda into the other balloon. So you should try to find your favorite balloon right now. Got it. Okay, go. Um, I don't even know if it's going in here. Oh, okay. Is what was, did you used to do science projects when you were younger? Yeah, of course. What was your favorite one or your most disastrous one? Did you ever like make the, um, you know how people do the balloons, or not the balloons, the water or two ounce liters of soda and make right, it like rocket? Up. Yeah, yeah, we did that. That wasn't successful at all. Guys always like to blow stuff up. I don't know why. I know why. <laughs> this don't even work. This don't no, work. No, you I, don't I'm have sure. a good technique because I'm definitely getting this. Look at my baking soda and look at his. <laughs> I'm roaring back now though. She taught me to take me. No, don't cheat. Obviously, she knew what she was doing. So what was your best moment at USC? Um, you know, actually, throughout, you know, winning the titles and being on, you know, just epic runs like that, the dynasty, um, the practice. I think uh, you're trying to slow me up, A. Eh? But um, <laughs> she thinks she's slick. I'm not. You can't, you can't like think and or talk and no, work at the same time. Because you're asking me questions. <laughs> Wait, you have to get both of them. See, you're messing both up here. Both of these. It's Are you too, kidding me? No. I'd like to say it was practice. We obviously this you practice more than you play. Fair because yeah, that's what you get. We practice more than we play, right? So being around the guys and you know working really hard to attain the goal and you know do it in the fashion we were doing it. I don't know why, but you know my hands tightening up. I, that means I'm stronger. I'm still doing it with the same hand. Oh, keep going. See, I got a disability. I got arthritis in my hand, so that's why it's rigged. Oh, oh, sh I'm winning. I think I won, ladies and gentlemen. Bridge Johnson just beat Frosty Redker. Stop it. At pumping that bicep. This is actually really cool. And I feel like if I take it off, it's gonna explode. Oh, hell. And his don't even work good. Is it gonna pop? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't tell me nothing about this. This is pretty cool. Everyone, you should try these science experiments. I won. This is great. Thank you so much for playing with me. No, I had a blast. Thank you. We're gonna arm wrestle later. I'm probably stronger than him. But um, thank you guys so much for tuning into the fumble today. Make sure you like, subscribe. Where can they follow you at? At the Organic Frost uh, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we'll hopefully see you for a couple more seasons. Yeah. Thanks. See you guys next time. Sounds good. <laughs>